What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of the CP Podcast. My name is CP, and this is my podcast, CP Podcast, CP of the podcast. I am the CP of the CP Podcast. There's only one CP, a CP. That CP is me. So we talk about shit. CP. I want to talk about because I'm CP, CP Podcast, CP, CP, CP Podcast, CP. Uh, people be like, CP, I'll be like, what up, though? They be like, nothing. The podcast. Oh, the podcast or me because they're both CP. And to my right, as always, uh, the inquisitive, um, um, uh, the inquisitive, bright, and opinionated Maya Valentino. Don't we all have opinions, though? Well, yeah. You are opinionated and opinion hated. Uh, you've been getting <laughs> smashed in the comments these last couple of weeks, and I respect it. You know, what I'm saying somebody got to be the person that goes against the grain. That's what I'm all about. And then, of course, I don't even have to tell y'all, you know, it's just, you know how when you play NBA 2K, my team, and then you buy a card and the card walks out, and you can kind of tell who the card is based on some of the some of the accessories you see on the card. Like, this guy would walk out, you see all black, all black shorts or pants and all black shirt. Got a dog-ass all black juvenile shirt on. That's the huh shirt. This yeah. nigga was three years old when that came out. <laughs> um the Black Bucket, man. Shout out to Amir, man. Amir made his uh, his his on-camera debut a couple of weeks ago. It was pretty intense. People, When you came over to get the Skittles, people was like, oh, my God, that was Amir. That was Amir. He got a nose ring. <laughs> I um, cut it out, though. I ain't going to lie. You said what? I cut it out. It didn't, it didn't make sense for the... It didn't make it? No. I just I just assumed it was in there because I, I you did it, but it was for the people that was in here and Patreon. They saw what? But for the edit, it was like because we was just sitting there and then it was like a little break. Then it was like, you want some Skittles? And I was like, you know what? Why not? And then get it. And it was so it. natural for you to come get Skittles and be seen. Oh man! Well, that's why y'all got to y'all got to be in the Patreon and on this link. So y'all saw me here. Nobody else gonna see me. That's messed up, man. Join the Patreon. Uh, I'm about to up the price for the Patreon because uh, I got big plans for it. So I gotta up the price. Sour Skittles definitely the best, um, because at the here's why sour Skittles are the best. Mm -hmm. Because you have about two seconds of sour before you're right down to a regular Skittle, and so basically, it's 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 it, you just up the ante, right? If you don't like sour Skittles, you can rinse that bitch off, and you got a regular Skittle. Hey, put that on the ad. I mean, like you know, they, 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 it's two in one. It's a sandwich. You ever had the? Uh, it's a sandwich. Skittles gum. No, uh, I that, think I didn't last had, that I long. think I have had the Skittles. I had the Skittles gummies, and I had the Skittles gum. The Skittles gummies are trash. They taste like medicine. Mm. Like you just, it's like man, I don't know I don't, what it is. I, I've never seen the Skittles gummies. I've never seen. Yeah, it's like a, it's like one of those rare. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like rare snacks, rare munchies kind of shit. Skittles gummies. And they got the Skittles marshmallows. The Skittles, it's like a, a puff. Yeah, I'd be buying my kids all kind of candy from around the world. <laughs> That's fine, though. Yeah. I don't know if I would engage in the marshmallows, though. Yeah. That'd probably be at the bottom. Yep, they got the yogurt Skittles. Um, They, they got the uh, Skittles smoothies, which are trash. They literally taste like somebody threw them up. Uh, What else? I'm really a red pack, scour, a sour pack. Type of dude. I don't. I don't go purple pack. I don't go. You know. I like the red original pack. Family share, boy. <laughs> Shaking them up, and then I got straight sour. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't go tropical fruit. I don't. You know. what I'm saying that's not my thing. They're, it's cool. Some of them flavors be a little too strong. Though. They be a little too strong. You know what I want? My dream is to have a corn on the cob, but it be Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> and teeth, I just be bro. like, it's corn. <laughs> It has the juice. It has the juice. Yeah, oh, my teeth would be destroyed. Yeah. Like, 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 like them uh, mountain, mountain dew teeth people. You ever see people living in mountains? It's like, it's like water don't go out there. They just get trucks of mountain dew. Oh, that's sad. Come on in. You need a muffler? You need a muffler? Do you need a muffler? Do you need a muffler? My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had mountain dew. Somebody said children of the Skittle. That's pretty funny. You say you went to that. Oh man, Mountain Dew. Yeah, bro. I say when the people they, they, they start talking about the you shrink your five. dick and yeah. all that. Yeah, I'm like, nah, I'm good. I, hey, I can't go no lower than this. 
They have laws in Europe. They same stuff is sold in Europe doesn't have all of these cancer causing exactly. things. Same exactly. exact product. So they and can do it. I order my stuff from Europe. Good. I really don't. But that's how that's how people lie to people. That that, that that's how that's how uh, it's like, conscious oh, yeah, they, they all yeah, man, yeah, 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 like make it seem like you're on yep. the same shit. Like that's bro, how, like that's how conscious girls be getting hit by niggas who don't give a fuck about what they talk about. And then and they say, you know, you be like, I just keep falling for these fuck boys. <laughs> yeah, because your dumb ass keep having all these conversations. Like, and then also like information. Yeah, avocado milk, nigga, write it down. Avocado milk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fuck her with some almond milk. I'm gonna hit her with some uh oh, new joke of the week that I'm developing. Right now, okay. cool joke about how uh, I'm addicted to things. I think I'm addicted to pussy, right? And I think most men are, but it's just that the price for pussy is not the same like crack. It's not the same pressure, right? But if women turn up the pressure for pussy like they turned up the pressure for crack, like crack, you would see a different response. Like, imagine a girl was like, "I'm gonna get some pussy, but you gotta bring me your VCR." It'd be niggas walking out of the street with VCRs. Like, who come, still keeps stealing my TV? Like, if if we had to steal, and you know, I, I think that there's nothing like it's just it's not that it's too easy to get. It's just the stakes are not high enough to really see what niggas would do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the like the stakes aren't high enough. Um, and I I appreciate the stakes not being high enough, but it's like if a girl said. Like Ice Spice. Niggas want to fuck Ice Spice. If Ice Spice said, all right, y'all got to fight to the death. Wait, who is this person? Ice Spice? Ice Spice? You thought I was feeling you? That nigga's a munch. <laughs> you thought I was feeling you? A oh, munch. I love that song. I love that song. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's thicker than fucking frozen Snickers. Who keeps freezing the Snickers and making them thicker? But niggas like her, apparently. I don't know. I'm married, man. I don't, I, I've never even seen another woman. It's it's been so long. I don't know what they look like anymore. So I don't this, click. This girl oh, there never she seen before. Asked two guys to fight to the death. You think they do it? Hell yeah, they do it. I wouldn't do it. I'll shoot a nigga though. <laughs> 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 Pop shit out of nigga. You want me to do it? Bah! You thought I was you thought I was fighting him? That nigga got shot. <laughs> no? All right, cool. Well, haven't women figured this out though? Cause your wife figured it out. You married her. They I say, it out. oh yeah, they'll figure it out. You know what I'm saying? But you know, sometimes they'd be like 17, 18 dicks in before they realize. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's hey, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, like, goddamn, like her ass crack is right there, and it it, it, it ain't even got to be bare. But the contour of the dress is just it's like, man, what? Only wear that one time. It's corn. <laughs> They sell those leggings now that scrunch up in the middle. I'm like, that's a yeast infection waiting to happen. Oh, man. Yeah, girls don't care. The girls don't care. They just they take that yeast infection right to uh, OnlyFans and be like, do you guys like cream? Oh, my God. And niggas be like, it's $17.99. Yeah, the bathtub oh, order shit is oh, crazy. Man. <laughs> yeah, nigga, all right. Get some of that cream on you, pimp. Next thing you know, it's corn. You have a big hunk of not. You have the juice. <laughs> ah! All right. <laughs> ah! All right. <laughs> yeah, I, we, I I brought weed gummies in today. Hiatus. They didn't. They didn't pay me for this. But I just like them; they're delicious. The green apple ones—they had a little hint of weed in the back of it. Then I didn't—I I don't too much appreciate tasting the drugs and my drugs. You know what I'm saying? Even Abby was sugar coat they shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that—that—that—that that, 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 that green apple. It was like, oh, okay, cool. They, they you could taste it, but it wasn't bad. I could taste it in that one. It didn't in the taste bad. Banana, in the strawberry lemonade one. Yeah, it didn't taste bad. I'm about to order a Big Mac. So anyway, what's the uh, what's the uh, you know what's the, what's the topic for today? Um, Do you want to be we're sad? talking about something? Anything scary? Yeah, you want to talk about something really scary? Fuck no. yes, it's October. What's up? Do you want like real life scary or like pretend scary where you don't actually have to get scared? No, nah, I'm trying to scare the shit out of me. You want to get scared? Fuck my day up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think I heard anybody ever say some shit like that. <laughs> Fuck my day up. 
Okay, so, and I think I, I told you about this before, but this is multiple things like this are happening. Mm -hmm. In the United States, these labs are doing gain-of-function research. What does that mean? That's what happened with COVID. So they test a virus to see if they can make it more deadly or more sp easier to spread. Are they trying to weaponize? Well, they don't say. They're just saying that they're doing this research. So I'm sure everybody has heard. I don't know if everybody has heard. They did at Boston University. They combined original COVID. Mm -hmm. They combined that with Omicron. Mm -hmm. I heard about that. And they put it on a starburst, right? They licked it, made it sticky. And they put it on a starburst and shot that bitch into the cafeteria. <laughs> Six kids died. Is that what you're talking about? Or is, it just, is, 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 is this a different article? Go ahead. Tell me what happened. Okay. Well, this is, this is uh, in Bethesda, Maryland, which means they're doing this multiple times. In Boston University, they combined Omicron with the original one. So they made it as spreadable as the original, or as spreadable as Omicron, and almost as deadly as the original, which is a very dangerous thing to have made. And then they got caught. The Daily Mail, let me pull this up. The Daily Mail. How'd they get caught? They fuck around, order the pizza, and they piece together, hey, what are you guys doing? Is that an Omicron? And then they close the door real fast. Pizza man called the police, as he should, and order a Big Mac or something. Well. Hungry than a motherfucker. That's my problem. It's, they it's, got it's, caught. It's the weed and I, I don't sleep at night. <laughs> they got what? they got caught because they did a preprint article mm -hmm. that there's so much stuff out there. Nobody actually looks to see what is out there. I be looking all the time. You do not be looking because you lie to me every week. I do not lie to you every and week. And I'm getting wise to you. I lie to you like every couple of weeks and then <laughs> sometimes two, three times a week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the Daily Mail original article, they had posted something that they didn't think anyone was going to read. Mm -hmm. And then the, someone from the Daily Mail got hold of it and they said, wait a minute, are you doing this gain-of-function research in the middle of a major American city? And did you see what it said at the bottom, like what their response was? Because I did read that part. Yeah. Did you see the bottom part? What, what did it say? Which one? The top part or the bottom part? The bottom part. What's the bottom part saying? Oh, no. Go down. Go down to their response. Because I'm like, wait, why would they even say that? I just lied to you again. I never see? read this ever. You do. I never read this. You're so easy. Gullible. No. You I, believed I'm it. Not you believed every minute of it. Anymore. I was like, guess what, Baya? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm, laughs> I am AI. You was like, I knew it, of course. <laughs> and then I see Tony, he'd be like, Maya told me you were AR. That's great, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, basically, this new virus that they made, which is a combination, a chimera of the two viruses, killed 80% of the lab rats, the humanized lab rats. So they had done something to the lab rats to make them more human-like. So, like what? What you? What the fuck are they? What? Oh, yeah. They, you can humanize uh, lab rats anyway to make a certain uh, gene expression more human than rat. So these were humanized um, mice that they used. Can you imagine these human ass rats? Like you, you got to go in there to feed her. Like, hey man, hey man, down here. Ah uh, man, my back is fucking killing me, man. It's hunched up. I'm a rat. <laughs> I'm on a Big Mac. Oh, so yeah, this new COVID they made kills eighty percent of the lab rats. They did this mm -hmm. in Boston, and people were like, "Wait a minute, what are you doing in Boston?" One, is this not illegal? Two, you need permission to do this. It's not illegal, by the way. And they say they don't need permission. So Three, did you see, did you see, uh, like, uh, like, I think it was, it was a thing they did like 35 years ago where they combined, um, like, African-American and Jewish, like, spleen, like, like, splice DNA and made Drake? <laughs> I don't be talking about shit on the weekends. <laughs> so this virus killed 80% of the mice it infected. Mm. And then they got caught or called out for what they did. And now it's a major controversy because they're like, should you have done this? Should you can have I, made this? Can I say something to you, Maya? Yes. Can I present a devil's advocate take on what we're looking at right now? Okay. Yes, please. All right, so <clears throat> when COVID originally when COVID originally happened, we were upset with scientists that they were figuring out why turtles were fucking doing straws and not working on different diseases. 
We task our medical and scientific communities with almost having a response to everything that can possibly happen, which is not fair or reasonable, but we do the same way that we task our medical community with being able to cure everything and being lifesavers all the time, right? Those two rats that survived out of that 10 pack of rats that died, their immune response to a disease that deadly is what could save America and the world in the event that a disease that deadly will actually be. It's not just that deadly. It has to meet that exact combination. Right. But, you, but Maya, but what they're off, saying is, so look, is useless. so look, hold on. So you take the most deadliest disease that has been compounded in the last maybe 15 years and then also take the most fastest spreading version of it to combine it because if that were to happen that would be catastrophic so to do it in a controlled environment with 10 mice or 10 rats and then figure out why the two didn't die what their immune response was and begin to study that that's where you start to kind of get ahead of diseases and shit that could possibly you know what i'm saying like i get what you're saying like wuhan quote yeah. unquote they weren't responsible with what happened right and that's bat flew in that bitch Fuck one of them rats yeah. and then went out, got something to eat, fell asleep in somebody's soup. We all know how that goes. It was yeah. drunk. But in in it's like I would rather, I don't give a fuck about this type of research once the fucking thing is out and, and half my friends is dead. And now they're like, we're trying to figure out why Omicron. But like if they doing it now so that it doesn't get to that point, I mean... That that would assume that this would happen in nature, and it's unlikely that this would happen in nature. Like but, Obama but, but put Maya, an end to this. But Maya, but what I'm saying is like that you're correct. It's very unlikely likely that this will happen in nature. However, nobody cared that COVID didn't start in nature when it came down to whether or not what we needed to do to save ourselves from it. Right? They weren't prepared. The I the I like they weren't prepared to. I mean, theoretically. They made it. They made it. If they weren't messing around in the lab, would we have COVID to begin with? And that's where I'm thinking on this. Like, well, you know, made a problem well, well, no, for well, well, COVID was already, you know, COVID is already a thing. It seems to me they made a problem for everybody, and they're doing it again with this. You know, it was just COVID-19. is like a this crazy, crazy strain. But, you know, COVID was already, you know, coronavirus has been a thing forever, right? Oh, like a, the common cold? Yeah. Like there's been coronaviruses for a long time. Yeah. Well, see, here is, here's what Obama did in 2014, because he's actually, I feel the best president in my lifetime, which, I mean, what does that really say? That's, that, well, that says a lot for you to say that, Maya. I, 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 um, I, I guess I agree. Yeah, who's the president in your lifetime? Um, so when y'all be like, God insane. damn, the French onion char yeah. burger. I'm so gonna get Reagan, this bitch. Clinton, uh, Reagan, Bush, Clinton, other Bush, and then Obama. We had a lot of oh, double term Trump presidents, yeah, and Biden. Yeah, I think Obama is pretty easy to be the best president <laughs> in that lifetime. It's not hard competition. When, when did Clinton get elected? Clinton was 92. 92. Okay. Yeah. So I'm from that point up. So you Clinton's your first president. You didn't see Bush one? No. You got it. Nope. Okay. Yeah. But I saw the second Bush. Goddamn. He was bad. He was <laughs> yeah. a bad president. That shit was terrible. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, but this is what Obama said about gain of function research. He said, we're just going to, we're going to not do it for a while until we can figure out how to have it not escape from the lab. I mean, that ain't, that ain't, um, yeah, like, I mean, yeah, I agree, but duh. Like, I don't think anybody does it with the intent for it to escape the lab. Right? Or am I tripping? No, I don't think they do it with the intention, but if it does, then what do you do? Here's another one out of Bethesda, Maryland, where they're experimenting with monkeypox to make that more virulent, to combine two different strains of monkeypox. Right, but they have to do this research though, Maya. I just feel like everybody's afraid now because we can, we've can we seen what can happen from that. But 
I mean, they have to know what these, I mean, they, how do you think, <clears throat> how do you think, you know how many lives were lost so that you couldn't catch, you know, some kind of polio or some shit like that? Like, you know, these type of tests. And I'm being devil, devil's advocate because, of course, they could be doing it for evil purposes and they could go and fucking shoot that shit into Cleveland. You know what I'm saying? And fuck them, you know? But it's like, for what the science is about, these things absolutely have to be studied and, um, you know, it sucks because nobody want to, you know, but it is what it is. Yeah, I generally don't think this is a very good idea. There are still people who think that Lyme disease got out of a testing site in Connecticut, and that's proved to be a really big problem recently. Mm. Really? Lyme disease? Lyme disease, the bullseye disease. <clears throat> right, I know what Lyme disease is basically like when you like put too much lime in tequila and then you, when you lick it off somebody's hand with the salt, you know what I'm saying? You you get sick because the lime is be old. Oh, you don't know what Lyme disease is. <laughs> the, the you get it trend. from ticks. You get it from ticks, yeah. Um so yeah, there's a guy who went on record and said Lyme disease escaped from a lab. It was a bioweapon. And then the government came out and said, no, it did not escape from the lab. But yeah, that's a huge problem. The in government the said it didn't. I mean, I think I don't think it did. If they said it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, this will be here in 10 minutes. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Every every black movie get better when that song come on. Someday you <laughs> walk around in a happy burger. Someday you be around with a All right, come on. So that's that's what was scary, Mike. That was it. You don't think this is terrifying? The fact that we have no, um... no, it's science doing some shit in the lab. Yawn. This is like this is the first act of the scary movie. It didn't even get scary yet. It's just scary possibilities. Yawn. Okay. I think you're saying it has scary potential. Oh, it has. Know. Lyme disease has been a major problem. And if they may, were making this in a government lab, which this article from Newsweek says that they are launching an investigation. I'm not saying it's proven one way or the other. You know what else is rampant? Lame disease. Where niggas is lame as fuck. Don't even have the sweet shoes like me. <laughs> That's what's really rampant. It's lame disease. Your mom goes to college. Why was that a rebuttal? What? Man, you don't know about that. The movie was Napoleon Dynamite. The year was 2009, I want to say. Oh, yeah. And yeah, he was a dancing machine. I love that roasting. movie. They were, he was the dancing machine. Dancing was like 20% of the movie, Maya. The quotables. Make yourself a quesadilla. Quotables. I mean, it's pretty much serious. Kip. Oh man, pretty much getting serious though. <laughs> Napoleon, you're just no, mad because Napoleon Diamond came out 2004. It was 2004. Wow. I would say because I was in middle school and I remember people talking about it, so it could have been 2004. Yeah. Okay. Well, Napoleon, you're just upset because I've been chatting online with hot babes all day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a classic movie, boy. That nigga Kip and LaFonda, man. Yes, I love technology. Have you um have you seen this? I wanna see some shit about some ghosts. Bring us some I wanna see some shit about man dog. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, what ants look like? What ants look like up yeah, close. I'm about what start, the fuck? Yeah, I'm I'm about to start just crushing them bitches. I ain't got time. Can I? Oh, I had this. I had this debate with one of my frat brothers. Shout out to my brother Gabriel, Gabe, Gabe Bridgman. Peep this. Now he's in Hawaii. We sent this picture in our group chat. He said, "Do you realize that if ants were the size of dogs, how they would terrorize the world?" I told him, "If ants were the size of squirrels." We will be in immense trouble. Hell, if ants were the size of cockroaches. Oh my, yeah. Any spiders, just anything bigger than what they are. I like, agree. dog, like substantially bigger than what they are across the board. Yeah. Bro, it would be fucking nuts. 
so many of them. Like, dog, carrying dead bodies away, carrying children away, because, like, ants can get together and pick this phone up and just go. If they're the size of a cockroach, an ant the size of this lighter. Put it on. Put, where's my camera? Where's my camera? Where's my camera? America? America? An ant the size of this lighter. Think about how deep ants be. Yeah. Ants be by the thousands. Like, they would be the number one species in the world at what size? At what size? I don't know. What if, define number one. Like cockroaches? Because we exist with cockroaches. Nah, but cockroaches are not as, as intelligent as ants. Cockroaches don't work together like ants I do. I think he's saying more of a threat. More a of a threat. threat. I mean, ants, ants would become a, a, a very serious threat if they got any bigger. Dog. Yeah. Well, we would perceive them because they're ugly. Nah, fuck them being ugly. This like, is what they do. The damage they could do. Like they like they are like they work together in a way that's crazy. Somebody said squirrel. I think squirrel. Squirrel size, like they're killing lions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like squirrel size, like there are no wolves that can hide from them. They're scaling trees. They're cutting down foliage. Yeah, they I don't even know if they can live underground anymore. See, that's yeah. the thing. Could they get could they grow as much being much bigger because sometimes the bodies are designed to be a certain way and if you try to scale that up it just right. doesn't work. But that's what I'm yeah, saying. They so, would have to it was so at squirrel it, it size a totally different. At squirrel role. size yeah. it would have to yeah at squirrel size this is their planet. At Maybe, squirrel size yeah. this is their planet. You can only step on about eight before your foot is not you're tired and your foot is not coming up fast enough for them not to latch on to your foot. And then there's one latching on to the other one. And then you shake him off and they didn't crawled up and they didn't fucking took that pincher and pinched your neck. It's over. Over. Squirrel size. That sounds like a movie. Mouse size. Mice size ants. <sighs> Because mice kind of do what ants do, but they don't work together, though. They don't work together. Mm, a little, uh, in a, in a way, yeah, yeah. Ants, my... do, they kind of do, but uh, ants and mice, but ants are just. What is this? This is a prehistoric ant that actually got to this to the size of a hummingbird. First of all, the wings on that—that that looks like a prehistoric bee or some kind of wasp. That's <clears> not an <throat> ant at all. Look at the wing. Yeah, that's not a that's ants not an ant. Wings. Ants have wings. Some ants have yeah, wings. Yeah, some ants have wings, right? But that's not like that. I would I would assume like even with that long yeah, that's not an ant. That's that long thorax. It's a million years old. Oh, so they did not live at the time of the dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, ants have wings like a queen. Yeah, queen ants kind of look like queen ants. But I mean, look, come on now. Does that look like an ant or does that look like some type of like either termite or some type of um? I just don't know if that's an ant. It's not like symmetrical enough. Would it be oh. fair to say that wh where do wasps come from? Do they come from ants? Do you look think? Because they kind of look similar. If you take the wings off of a wasp, it looks mm. like a big ass ant. I agree. A I big agree. ass brown ant. So I Look up cow ants. Someone said they're oh, the size the cow of killers. Roach. Yeah. You never seen those? No. Nah. They're called velvet ants. If that's what they're talking about. The cow killers. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. This shit got me itching. All right, so... <laughs> Oh, these are fuzzy. Yes. Let's pull this up. Hey, I saw one of those. The first time I saw it was in Georgia. And yeah. What the? F what? See, that does look like a wasp. Yep. It looks like a bee. It looks like a, it, you would see it like, crawling. You think it will it can fly, but it doesn't have wings. But it's called the cow killers. They have one of the uh, one of the worst stings possible. Their stinger comes out and it's very long. They yeah, one of the look, scariest look, 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 look. They're holding it right there. Top, yeah. top right. Mm -hmm. That guy, that, I don't, I forgot his name, but that dude in that corner that, got stung he did a thing he did like the top 10 worst things he got stung by everything not at once but like over time he did all 10 like top 10 until right. he got I to mean, the uh, it's bullet like, it's, it's like bro until he got to the, what, a the bullet, bullet ant bullet ant mm -hmm. you never heard of bullet ants nah bro somebody gotta pull up the bullet ant damn look at Alabama Georgia Florida this is all their ants wow yeah they out there in Georgia look you, at the Florida ones the white the white furry was at the top This one right here? Uh, yeah. yeah. This looks like the same as the... 
That stinger look crazy. Who yeah, the fuck gonna, just gonna get stung by some shit for? So these man. are bullet ants. Um, bullet ants. They their thing is they say it's, it feels like you got shot. What? They uh they reside in the Amazon, and they are the most by far the most aggressive type of ant for sure. They they not to be fucked with because you know how ants run together. They're bigger. Their bite is more serious. You could see like they have a pincher on the front. Like they don't play around. Okay, so this study says that. Bees and ants are cousins, and they kind of do resemble each other. And they kind of act like each other work too. Together. They kind of like, yeah. yeah, like they swarm, swarm of ants, swarm of bees. Like, yeah, I could see that. Like bees and ants kind of just, but that's what I'm saying. Those kind of species, look at what they are doing, right? If they were human sized, they would go crazy. But guess what? We're human sized because we're humans, and then we work together like they do. Yeah, we do. We don't. Yeah, we do. Cities. Traffic. Traffic looks like no, an uh, ant colony if you look right. at the No, we traffic. live together. Yeah. Right. We don't work together. Like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of similar because not all ants exist in harmony. Because, you know, there's going to be differences and, yeah, you know, all that kind of yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, I saw, I saw an ant argument one time, I guess... Um, Somebody was fucking somebody, uh, aunt, mama, auntie, whatever. Man, they was going at it, and then they, you know, it was, it was to the death. But it's just that I feel like these animals. You ever feel like bees ain't no army? Like every bee is in the army of being the bee, except mm-hmm. the queen. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they go. They're hard all the swarming you. Yeah, it ain't like. 80% of them sitting back while this little 20% of no, it's like all of them is going. And that's what I mean by it's like if these species, like they just kill everything in sight, the whole species. It ain't just like, you know, we, we have an army. Like they work together. Like we would send them, right? Mm-hmm. But in comparison to what the actual human body of people, like the whole, like that's a small percentage, this is our little defense. It really need to be like all of us. You know what well, I'm saying? We, we do it better. So when we mobilized for war, like when the United States mobilized for World War II, the whole of the country mobilized for war and then we're able to specialize it better. And that's why humans are so successful. So that went down to the women uh, started working at the factories. All the men went off to fight. And so we, as a unit under that flag, did what a bee colony or an ant colony can do and worked together. And you could kind of say like the president or the head was like their queen bee. Um, But that's why humans have taken over. And we're not a very big species. We don't have claws or anything like that. Our ability to consciously work with each other, not because we share the same mother, but because we share the same idea, Mm -hmm. makes us so powerful. Yeah, but like I said, it's because our... Our goals are all so spread out. Like people talk about living in a city, it's it's one nineteen million people in a city with seventeen million goals, right? Different things going on. Like it's not all about feeding this one big central. Like they have zero distractions. They have nothing else to do but go hard for the home team. That's it. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like they're, that's it. They're born to do that, then die. There's nothing more for them. And there's something about that that's kind of lit. We kind of do that, but it's hidden. You can't tell people it because it makes them uncomfortable. But what we do together is make money. Like everybody in the city, a city works if it's paid and it's functioning. Right, so but we're we not making right, money we, like that. Right, but we don't have a central bank account. Like it's different. It does work together, though. Gross national product, all that kind of stuff. It does. Like, you it's ever wonder if the when scenes. the ants get off work or when the bees get off work, can they go to the hive and drink one of them little pods? Or, like, is that just, like, <laughs> who's that for? Like, I mean, we're about to go to the crib, drink me a honey, and relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait, this is a ant colony. Because some of them can get big. There's one in Japan. Hey, that shit, they said my shit to be here in 10 minutes, man. They need to get my fucking burger to me before I get pissed. They need the when they uncover like what kind of highways and things that they made, it's very detailed and very yeah. intricate. It's it's extremely crazy. Yeah. Like it's something that we cities. just don't like. We 
won't necessarily fully understand. We don't give them credit for how intelligent and, you know, it's like, dog, they got their own shit going on. There's so many worlds inside this world. Yeah. I, I have a lot of respect for ants. I used to have an ant farm. Do you guys ever have an ant farm when you was kids? Mm-mm. Yep, I had an ant farm. First of all, my mom's boyfriend tried to make me an ant farm with a fish tank and some sand. I was like, man, get this nigga out of here. Man. <laughs> you can't even see in the fucking thing. And they all getting out. Like a super colony. I thought there was one in Japan that was one of the biggest. But there's different tribes of ants that live in the same area. It's like I want to go to like, I want to, they should make an ant farm. I mean, like an ant exhibit, like a zoo exhibit where you can like walk through the ant farm. Like it's like built all around you with glass. That would be dope. You know what I'm it's saying? It's probably hard to do because of keeping them ants together. That's probably the hardest part. Because they, they kind of, together? They, I mean, it's like, in order to build something like that, it's like, do you build you build what it is and then you have it put on top? But it's like, well, are they going to adapt to that? Like, are they going to want to be here? Is what I'm saying. No, I think that the construction, honestly, bro, the construction could be up to the ants. And you you set the tunnel and all that. You do the dirt and then you apply the ants and you say, come in next fall. And then you just let those ants just burrow and 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 you know what i'm saying like you just kind of you already have the tunnel set up the dirt is already around it and you just literally you know what i'm saying like after they map it we come through it 3d you know what i'm saying like you know there's so many ways to do it yeah yeah i you agree try. i was just saying like i think from a like the design aspect of it was like would the ants be like yeah we fuck with this y'all made this we'll Use it. Well, that's the thing. Like, they wouldn't understand the concept of what we're doing. Like, they would be encompassed in, and they would have to start. Just like, I don't know. Well, well you never had an ant farm, so I don't think you understand how it goes. I just thought mm-hmm. about that. Like, see how see this right here? It's dirt, and you let you put the ants in there. They send you the specific ants or their family. These ants are our family. There's a queen, and all you have a queen. You have about fifty ants, maybe, and then they just get to work. Like they start creating a tunnel for themselves. Mm, okay. Yeah, I never had one. I've yeah. seen, I've seen, I've heard of it. I've seen yeah. it like in cartoons and shit. Nah, but you see that shit on the side. Like they, they literally start making chambers, and it's thin so that every chamber they made you could see it. And that's what I'm saying. Like a huge ant farm with like a huge mega colony of ants that they create. We just create the. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, they would go nuts. This one's interesting. I've never seen one like. Yeah, this that before. one is dope. Oh well, I'm about to order one, bro. Oh yeah, for your kids. For my kids. kids, man. We saw we saw a praying madness the other day. They would love some shit like this. Praying madness. They they some savages. Hell yeah, I'm about to order me an ant farm right now. <laughs> I swear to God. Maybe I'll get one for my nephews. For yeah, and yeah, that's, that's how the Christmas. ants come. That's how they. That's how they. Uh, and see, look, you, you see that Amir? They're called harvester ants. So like, they get the ants that like just wanna. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what they do. Oh, they like the brown looking ones? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I'm about to order an ant farm for these girls, man. They're going to love me. Daddy, it's so cool. <laughs> Some of these major, these ant cities, though, they're they're so big. Look at that one that go on the wall. That's lit as fuck. An ant farm portrait. Okay. Yeah, they make, they, they basically make like full civilizations. Underground. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like, nobody ever stops and looks at the ants like, are these the, the aliens? And you laughing. They're insects. The the but, earth can make these. Yeah, but the earth makes this, a lot of variety of things. Right. But what I'm saying is like they also have insects in the bug, I mean in the alien movies too, where the, the aliens are insects. Well, we imagine aliens to be because we have to make aliens based on what we've seen. So we say, what's the most alien to us is insects, but actually insects were here first. So then we are the aliens. Oh, yeah. I never would think I'm not the alien. I know for a fact. Me and Lil Wayne. <laughs> yeah, I think, what are they, they like pour something in there? Is that how they've been looking to some of them? Like they're dead colonies or whatever. They'll pour something in there so that it fills out the shape of it. Then they have to dig up, uncover it or whatever. That's... That's so it looks right. like a city. These ant farms look cheap. I want an expensive one. Where you at? This is Amazon? This is Etsy. What's the, oh, Etsy. Okay. Yeah, Etsy's good. It's like Amazon, kind of? It's like Amazon, but for small creators. So if yeah. I can order from Etsy, I order from Etsy. Like I ordered all the wedding favors from Etsy because I'd rather it go to 
Somebody who makes a difference too. Yeah. Fuck Etsy though. I'm about to order from Amazon. <laughs> because... <laughs> yeah, Etsy, Etsy shipping time is definitely not going to be the same. It's not the same. Not it's the not same two at days at all. Oh, yeah. See, I ain't got time for that. My kids want, their, want our shit now. It's a big hunk of juice. We have juice. So, yeah, ants. I don't mess with ants too much. They cool though. Respect ants. Oh, yeah, because you had that infestation. Mm hmm. Yeah, you oh, yeah. Very yeah. smart. Very, very smart. Super smart. Yeah. See, you know. I, but I, I had, you know, experiences with ants before where they are, you know, they'll move up and stuff like that. I've never really looked at bugs and be like, they're dumb. Especially if you watch like bees and I've seen a hive. If you've ever seen it up close and how it like, ugh. The way I just think about it is like the way they function is just, ugh. But the ants definitely, they're, they're extremely smart and know how to maneuver together. And the way they communicate is pretty crazy. And I've also seen a thing where they try to drown a bunch of ants. They're on top of the water and they push down and it pushes the water. So you can't push them under the water. Like they're stick together. So you can't push them under the water. What do you mean they stick together? They're like attached to them, to each other. So you try to push them under the water and it put, it's like, it's like a boat essentially. Like they oh. made like a thing, like a flat thing. So they know, they realize they're on water. Okay. So how we do this? We're going to navigate this way through the water. All right. And this dude will push his hand down on top of them, right? To try to push them down and it, it'll just push the water away from them. They wouldn't go under. Mm. Wow. Oh, see, they form a little raft. That's actually really sweet. Yeah. Well, they can hold on to each other. Yep. For support. Oh. Fires form rafts to float on water. That. Damn. That's uplifting. Yeah. Like I'm genuinely. Are the ones better. on the bottom drowning, or are they a sacrifice, or are they like all like facing up so they can breathe? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Because I don't think, you know, like, ants aren't that heavy, but I imagine if another ant was on top of you, you feel like, you know. Yeah, like, get your goddamn thorax out of my face, arm line. They've also done stuff like, um, yeah, they like, like they attach themselves. Are, are the bullet ants the ones that they can go vertically? Like, they can uh, stack themselves vertically to climb up to things, I think, or pass things up like that? There's a specific group of ants that can do things vertically as well. Like they can ask, stack themselves on top of each other. I gotta ask my wife if I can have an ant farm because I don't <laughs> want to fucking buy this shit. And then she'd be like, why the fuck would you buy some ants? I don't. You know, you know how you, you know, as niggas, we, 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 we get excited. But oh, and then we, your girl just got a way of making everything sound so stupid. Like, like damn, why would I buy ants? So you just bought some fucking ants. So she just repeat what you did, yeah. and it sounds stupid. But it just sound dumb as fuck. It's more you know of a condescending saying? tone. Yeah, the tone of it makes yeah. a difference. It'd be different. It's and it'd like, be like oh, you words they ants. use, like "sit up there." Have, Why would you sit up there and order some <laughs> ants? So it's like I was, I was, I was laying down. Why would you sit right there? And you'd be like, "Damn, they make a nigga feel stupid." <laughs> Whenever Tony buys something, I'm just like, it's your money. It's your oh, money yeah. Kind of saying it's your money. Then it's like, well, baby, I want, How you, is that to, I want you to be impressed with what I buy. Be my friend. Y'all be like, it's your money. Who gives a fuck? Uh, stupid you. I guess you'll never know. And It'll come know. back later on. It's like, if you if you keep it, if you kept the purchase, it'll come back later on. You bought them damn hands. Now we can't yeah. get the... Like, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. You like this? Yeah. Well, if you didn't buy that stupid ass thing of ants... Maybe we could afford a, a better couch, but you like ants. So <laughs> didn't ask me shit. You just bought ants. The girls don't take care of the ants. Now I'm feeding these goddamn ants a Starburst. You calling me? Make you put a Jolly Rancher. No, I don't want to put no goddamn Jolly Rancher in here for these ants. You should have did it before you left. I can hear it now. I just like, man, I'm just trying to just, man. Actually, it's funny. Every single time we've had to get a new Absolutely, couch. Raven. Go ahead. My bad. She said women aren't satisfied unless... You give them all of your time and all of your money, and it, but it's like they're not trying. They don't. They they would never say that, because because Maya's a woman, and I know you you you're so not like that. You're like what? Please. Why would you want all of their time? That takes but, away time that but, you have from but, yourself. But you want that time to be able to turn down. Like no, please go. You know what I'm saying? But do you want us to be like, babe? You want me to drop all my everything and do what anything you want me to do? No, cheese. But that was the time right there. Or like the money. It's like. It's just, it's always like, my wife is like, there's always something that we need that we don't need this. And be like, and she'd be right. Like, it's always something we need. Oh, the girls need a new, before we get this, we got it. Or we need a new, before we get this. And they'd be like, man, we got to live. Shit. 
Zoom in on that one right there. Drowning ants in water is impossible. You see it next to that cartoon ant. Drowning ants this in is water talking is, about. is no good. Yeah. I wonder if there's a video to put show. Because I, I saw it. I don't know if it was on YouTube, though. I feel like I saw it on TV. Like Animal Planet or something crazy like that. Oh, okay. So they can float on water. That makes sense. They're light Their as hell. is designed in such a way that using cold or hot water won't have an impact. It's just messy and ineffective. Hey, good for ants. They're out here forming communities and families. We should support them more. <laughs> like I, I'm not... I'm not anti ant. I just when they when you pulling up in the house too deep like that, like I can't do that. Hundreds of hundreds of ants on the floor. You go in there and it's like one of them. It's like uh, I don't know. It's just one of the things. Is like you you wouldn't think you would ever experience it. It's like some shit you see in a movie or a show or something. It's like oh, it's a trail of ants and they're going and they made their own highway in my fucking living room apartment. Like nah, bro. That's, that's not that's that not normal. Was probably some shit, but you even moved there. Probably, it was, but it, it all it took was like one thing. If if there was one thing that was left out, it ain't. So we had ordered some pizza, and it was sitting on something that was like up on the table, right? Came back, that pizza was fucked up, and it was hundreds of ants in there. And I was like, wait, what? The, where did y'all come from? What did they do to it? Like it was like you could see the bites. They were eating it. You could see the nibbles. Nah, they weren't that big, but you could see like they were on it, and they were moving. You could see them like everybody rushing towards it, and a lot of them leaving. So they had made a path overnight, and I was like, bro, because when we went to sleep, it was kind of late. So I woke up. And they had been, they hadn't had a fucking field day. So I was like, okay, so they were already looking for something. Mm -hmm. And it's usually when it gets hot out here in LA, the ants start coming crazy. So it gets hot, they want to come inside. So they were probably already waiting. You leave something out. Now we here, we, it's time, it's our time to shine. And they take over anything. They went inside a a cereal box that was closed. How did they get in? They got in there. It was, it had like been open, but you know, you close it, you roll it up in the inside and you close the box. They had got in there and ate like the cereal pretty much. So these ants were aggressive. They probably knew the. They probably knew the logo. <laughs> they smelled it out. Mm-hmm. That's oh. cool. So their, their sense of smell is pretty, very strong. So they, they, I feel like they lead by that. If they're hungry, they lead by their sense of smell. All right, let's pause this here. Now, what is this? We're pausing. Uh, oh, that's the queen right there. But D Law just suggested that I look up. You see, they pour aluminum into the ant tunnels, and this is what you get, these little sculptures. What the? Which actually looks like a regular tree. Like, it looks like a tree, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That looks crazy, though. That looks, wow. Yeah, that looks like, and like, it looks like a natural growth. Like, a lot of things in nature, it just looks like a natural thing. You know, like blood yeah. vessels, stuff like that. It doesn't, it has stru- structure, but not to the point where it's like perfectly lined up type thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, it's a it's a. It looks systems. like something that just gets added on to constantly. Mm-hmm. Like they just make another room over here. Somebody coming through this weekend, dig a room for them. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of like how cities are, except in two D. If you look at a, uh, a city from up top, especially one that was small and they didn't have cars when it came out, like a Boston mm-hmm. or a yeah. New York. And then people add and add and add. And then it starts getting more rigid in the suburbs because people have cars. Damn, cars weren't out when these cities were founded, huh? No, it's just cow streets. Uh, mm-hmm. um, horses had to go down the road. Yep. Yeah, life life before cars. Mm-hmm. It's kind of crazy to think about, honestly. Damn. How long it would take for you to get to somewhere? Yeah. Like you thought about going somewhere? A lot of people just didn't go. They yeah. just stayed in their I mean, own yeah, little habit, their own habitat area. area, hobbit, whatever, yep. shire. One too, one too much intermingling. It's like, where are you from? I'm from Texas. They'd be crazy. They'd be like, nah, you, we out here in Los Angeles, right? They'd be like, only, are you from Detroit and you from yeah. Boston? I'm from Atlanta. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. You only married your neighbors. You know what I'm saying? You're from Boston? I was born in Boston, yeah. I remember you telling me that. Yeah. Never been to Boston. It's all right. It's a good city. Racist. I, but honestly, I grew up in um, basically Providence. You have to say Boston because Providence, no one knows. Rhode Island, Rhode Island, yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to see say all of those places are so close together. It's kind of wild to me. Yeah, well, it's kind of like the DMV, how like New England is. Like New England's like a bunch of shit. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, six yeah. States. New England is yeah. Oh, wait, six states? There's oh yeah, because the smaller go to Connecticut, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, New Hamp- I forget, Vermont, I mean, and Maine. I would have forgot all three of them. <laughs> the first three I got. Nobody gives a fuck about Vermont, Maine, and New Hampshire. 
Uh, Wait, which, which, where is Boston then? That's in Boston is Massachusetts. So that's... Uh, is that a part of New England? That is part of New England, that's, right? Yeah, that is Massachusetts. Maine used to be part of Massachusetts. It used to be that whole area. But gradually got split up. Like the person who founded Rhode Island was like called Roger Williams. And he got driven out of Massachusetts. And it was like, fuck you, Massachusetts. I'm going to make my own colony like right next to you. And some so he other took lady. The, then he took the bulk of that shit then. Because Maine is much bigger oh, than Oh, no. Maine. This is Rhode Island. So that was oh. to the south. It's just a tiny little colony. And they people from Rhode Island just give Massachusetts the finger for a couple hundred years. And there's actually another woman who founded Rhode Island. And she accidentally went into Massachusetts. And they killed her. They used to what? get. Yeah. Is, <laughs> they used to like hate day, each bro, other. Was fucking crazy. Can you imagine like, like, where, where am I at? You're in New Hampshire, bitch. <laughs> Damn. It was a long time ago. I know, like, making those state lines had to be fucking crazy because just starting off, it'd just be like, you could be as big as it fucking wants to be. Mm-hmm. And then they was like, nah, you gotta you gotta shrink down. Or we gonna add, we started adding stuff. Cause then they'd be like, yeah, fuck you, Delaware. You're gonna be this small. It should have been a war. <laughs> Probably was a little. Take that shit. A little scruffle about that shit. But no, nah, I've never been, i never been out there. It's funny you saying it was racism. I was like, yeah, I mean, I grew up in the South too, so. I grew up it's in Detroit, how... man. I didn't see a lot of racism. That should be like it depends on where you're at, because obviously the South is there's a, a very large percentage of people of black people who live out there. So you don't if you're in your community and stuff like that, you won't necessarily feel it. But once you step a little out of that, it depends on where you go. Inner city is not as bad as like outer rural racism, where you go somewhere and then you see the like Confederate flag in your face and you'd be like. You can go to uh, around New York and see that flag. I don't know why people put that flag up. Yeah, it's they everywhere. It the the rural areas. Like, are, what are you doing? I say, I think that rural America is similar, more similar than people think. No matter where you are, it's gonna feel the same. Because when I see that, when I see that in like New England, New York, I'm like, you guys, your ancestors fought a war. Don't put that flag up here. They do not care. They don't understand. They don't even know what it means. They don't know the history of it. You explain to them, you guys know about the Civil War? And they're like, oh, we fought a war. Like, yeah, you fought a war and you won. And now you have this flag, you look stupid. Then they take it down. When you explain to them what the flag is, they take it down. It's like, y'all <laughs> dumb. You can't, you can't tell people in the South that, though. Right, I'm about to say, they know that, what, they know what, they know what shit that shit means. means. They definitely know what it means. And this is more so like they'll play, I feel like might play dumb to it. Or some people just actually be dumb. She said, oh, we fought a war, really? My head. Now, the people in the South, they know what that means, but they try to say it's heritage. But the ones in the North that, like, have a great uncle buried in the South, it's like, yo, take that shit down. You look stupid. Yeah, me and Brendan was out in Kentucky trying to get some drone shots. One wrong turn, that shit turned into those fucking Tom Sawyer book. Like, it was, like, we literally went down, because I, I was, it was funny, because I was telling Brendan, I was like, yeah, we went down this road, and I was like, um, I was like, we definitely gonna need to turn around, because it's like a, a, you had to take, like, a ferry to get across the river. But we were trying to get like a shot of the ferry. Um, so we were trying to figure out somewhere like the park and not be in the way. So we're going down this road and it's like a bunch of trees and it's kind of like like a little narrow thing. But it's like these houses on the side. And I was looking around and I was like, I was like, yeah, I feel a Confederate flag popping out somewhere. Then it was like we were moving. It was like, boom, right there. It's like, yep. And he was like, nah, we got to get out of here. Because I'm pretty sure we're <laughs> like very few amount of black people around here. We don't want to be caught in this. There's like a porch with the wooden porch with the chairs and a whole bunch of shit on their yard. And I was like, nah, man, like, we, we got to go. We got to go. I'll tell you something. I want to have a property, and this is what they be having, where I can just shoot my guns on my property. That's what they do, and they damn good. Because they ain't got to go to no range and sign no papers, and you know, they get to sit there and learn how to shoot their shit on their fucking property. And they will blow your ass. I remember, man, yeah. I've seen racism in Michigan, but it was so, I didn't realize what it was because they didn't have the support. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, down south, people support that racism. They like, you know what I'm saying? They they don't think there's nothing wrong with it. In Detroit, you can't really get away with it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of like, you know, too many black people like, be racist. Why are you living where the black people live at? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they don't have a fucking choice. Right, exactly. Money. I mean, it comes down to that. Like, why are you living? You live out here and you are suffering through these kind of things and you're still upset. You still be racist. Because that, at the end of the day, is what their bottom line is. It's like, I don't well, yeah, a lot of people who are racist have not met the person that they hate. So if you're like in a city and you see a lot of black people on day to day, you're like, oh, actually, you're cool. And you make enough black friends or enough white friends, you're like, oh, okay. Well, those these are just stereotypes. This isn't real. So a lot of these racists... I feel like people with some sense would feel that way. But if you're in an area where it, they, even if they are close enough, they still feel that way because they feel like they're taking over kind of thing. And they don't talk to them and they don't... 
Oh, no they don't them. none of that. They don't want to. They'll be around, but they have that angst, like that anger that you know want to start something and all that kind of shit like that. You can't fight progress. A lot of these people, I feel bad for them because you can't. Like, the city's gonna keep making money the way it's gonna keep making money. So whoever comes in, moves in, and starts doing stuff, that's what it is. So all these people try to hold on to these old ideas. I'm like, hmm. yeah. At this point. If you racist, it's like a gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I felt like it was low-key like that already anyway. It was like, obviously, the norm. And then, you know, it sticks around and stuff like that. And then without the teachings and proper... Yeah, proper teachings of the actual history that took place here, then all that shit gets erased and gets turned into something else. So then it can build it, bubble itself back up again. Because it doesn't really ever die. I don't mm-hmm. feel like, like, I don't think racism will ever die. I don't think that's a possibility. Especially, it, like, even in, like, my lifetime, I don't see that happening. It's just about the story that they're telling. That's all, like you said. Like, you ever think about this? Unrelated, but... Game of Thrones, as a show, mm-hmm. has so much history in it. History that's not even real. But it's built upon layers and layers of this fake history... To kind of like get us along in this show. If someone 2,000 years from now found those books, they would think it was a Bible. I mean, they'd find a lot of books from our time, but if they only found that one book. They only found those, though. Yeah, they would think that it it is extensive enough to almost appear to be like nonfiction type shit. Yeah. But what if they found some trashy romance novels instead? Like, what if the romance novel... Cargo they're going to find all saved? of that because what, what they're going to find... Our, our imprint is going to be digital, right? You would think, <clears throat> even though it's like software is interesting because software is not... Can't stand the test of time. Like, things have to be etched in stone or on paper or to be a thousand years old and still be recognizable, which means, like, the ancient Egyptians could have had a lot of stuff that software and, and and energy is not gonna just stick around to be Yeah, we haven't found any um we haven't found any hard drives or anything that would indicate, but who knows? But we have found like And we haven't <clears throat> found any like outlets or uh, plastics or, you know, metals that would indicate that has something like that. But it's always a possibility. It's always a possibility. For us, people well, damn, will find stuff. That was a good-ass stuff. point. We, she, she like, we ain't find none of the shit. So, I mean, they ain't had no plugs. <laughs> there's no outlets. Uh, no headsets. No. I'm like, you're over here like, yeah, but you never know. Yeah, that stuff that definitely doesn't. Just knowing how the, the tech shit works and all that analog circuitry and all that kind of stuff like that, that shit is built. And the way it, it's built, it dies eventually. Some things last, but it's like, damn, that shit, last. I ain't think it could last that long, but it takes work to keep it running for that long. It's not like you yeah. could just use it and just be like, I'm done with it, and then not think about it. Like, my fucking iPod Nano from 2005, that battery swelled up, so it cracked the front of the screen on it because it hasn't been charged in so many years. So now that it's, it's, it, it doesn't work anymore. So yeah. then it's like, I lost that. Or even like old hard drives and old computers, the way they worked was they're spinning disk, and there's a certain amount of times that this disk can spin before it's completely done, and that's, mm-hmm. it's dead forever. And yeah. You can't get, you know, you can't get anything back. But we're getting better at that kind of stuff. It's just that it's attached to certain things. So the software, if it can't recognize what it is because it's the, the new software would be too new and that stuff is just too old. Going back in time to try to get that kind of stuff to work again is, is a pain in the right. ass. You're looking for three prong outlets like we have, but they could have had a completely different system in place. Yeah, there would be a lot that would have to go in to support that. But I could see going forward in the future looking at our stuff that they wouldn't be able to look at what's on this uh, laptop. Yeah. But have you heard the theory that our DNA contains a lot of um, information that we just can't read? Because that's the best way to encode it for future generations is to make it replicable. So we could have DNA that this is the theory. This is a conspiracy theory that in our DNA there are stories, et cetera, that are that are told and we just can't read it just yet. But we dream it and see it. I don't know. Hmm. That's an interesting point. If you buy that theory, maybe. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. That's amazing. Like, 
imagine a machine that, that you could put your blood into and then it would just play back all this history from this particular blood. Right? Who knows whatever epigenetics is. I mean, it might not. Our brains could be that machine that plays back that history. Like if we were to be better in touch with our instincts or or whatever. Not doled down by food and electromagnetic forces around us all the time. You're talking about that? Like I mean as I, as I eat a burger. Who knows? I mean, if you were like, let's say you take an eye, and this is we're just talking. I don't actually believe any of this stuff. We're just talking. But let's say we do have all this code and it's in our our blood. Mm -hmm. So how could you play it? How would you even know what that is? Maybe you take an ayahuasca trip just to the drum, and then that plays through something, a story you're supposed to be told. And even at that level, it would be maybe told through a narrative, through a feeling, like telepathically. And so that's what the process is. I don't think there would be one specific way that it would work for everyone. It could no. be meditation. A lot of because, people say stuff about meditation. Yeah, it's because if, if it's considered to be like a part of our DNA and everybody's in a sense, similar, but different enough to differentiate who we are as a person. And they would say that in order for it to work for everybody, I don't even think that that would be a possibility. But they say that your life past passes before your eyes when you die. Mm -hmm. That could be a chemical being released into you to be able to decode this blood. And you might not just see your life. Your life is all you recognize right now from this physical experience, but you might see all your lives. You might see everything mm -hmm. at that point of, you know what I'm saying? Crossing over, you might see everything. I think that like, <clears throat> that's a great point though. The story in our blood is interesting. That's deep. Where did you hear that from or did you make that up? Cause I ain't, I ain't gullible. Uh, there was an episode <laughs> of Star Trek like years and years ago where they all, oh, that was a really good episode. That reminds me of that Black Mirror episode where they had the, the uh, if you seen, I don't know what season it was. Maybe it was the first or second. I've but seen dude, every like, episode of Black Mirror. So I the dude, it. like, they were like, him and his girl got in an argument and then he like rewind back stuff. She, he kept rewinding it back or whatever to show mm -hmm. like, this is what you did. And he's like, I didn't say that. It's like, oh yeah, you did. And he just played it back in his head kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep. so we're going to. She ended up seeing that girl get killed. And they ended up doing it to that hamster to find a murderer at the end because she killed the baby too. Was that the same episode? think so. That's like the very first episode. Now the first one was what it do was, was doing with the that. Pig. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that one was in the first season. I think it might have been the second season. Cause then I, I associate that episode with the, the one where she grew the nigga in the tub. That really weird thing. She like he died and then Her she brought him back. Yeah, in the tub back, yeah. or something like that. I think that was in the same season. So I think that might have been season two. I think uh Talk to my wife, see if I can give me an ant farm. <laughs> um, I think if ants were the size of, I'm going to go with rats. They couldn't live underground anymore. They would have tree hives or be like big mountains. Mm. I feel like they would live in caves then. I feel like they would create their own high. I think they would do the same thing they do is be a bigger scale. It'd be like But ant. in the tree though, I don't know if it can hold that. Right. That's why I think that an ant an ant mound. Right. Uh who said that Zuria rats do live underground but not by the millions like ants would. Ants reproduce so fast and vast. You know what I'm saying? Do every ant get to fuck the queen? Is that like a part of the thing? I don't know how that works. I think so. <laughs> so it's only like a few ants that get to have sex with the queen? Um, you know they got to be the biggest snitches. So rat rats live if rats live underground, but they don't live in the dirt, right? Correct, right? They live underground, like in sewers and shit. And and, and they don't create their environment; they kind of invade environments. Yeah, right. So that's like the main difference, I think. <clears throat> like you know, rats could take over a city, and they don't even work together. They would just be pandemonium with all of them, right? If it was enough of them, ants could like break buildings down. A carpenter ant? Yeah. That wood is done, bro. Oh, my God. And it's the size of a rat? Sheesh. We had to live around them, <laughs> essentially. Yeah, they had to make a little ant gun. I, you probably have a BB gun. Crack that little exoskeleton. Pop, pop. 
Yeah, they they wouldn't have if they're still not like they don't have bones and shit. Then. Mm-hmm. Right. So the BB just sit in their head and they still just be moving. Yeah. Fuck ants, man. You ever see an ant? You know what I like about ants, though. Fuck them. But you know what I like about them? you ever see one of their homeboys die and they pick that nigga up and keep going. <laughs> I've never seen them pick anybody up. What? I never seen them. I've Bro, seen them pick things up, but not another no, ant. They pick up another ant. That's hilarious. And I've seen ants walking with dead ants on their back. Have you seen this, Maya? Yeah. Yeah, they, they, I see I it all thought the they time. Were eating them though. Huh? I thought they were gonna eat them. It don't matter. He. They might. That's... But I don't know. I don't know either. I never seen that happen, but I can believe it because I've seen them pick up right. other shit. Somebody said at the size of a rat, an ant would be bulletproof. Mm. What would you do? Electric shock. Poison. Yeah, but uh, that poison probably fuck us up. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that's, yeah. yeah that, po- that poison, even shit, rat poison ain't safe. <clears throat> Damn. All right, we just gotta thank our lucky stars, man. Somebody said leave. <laughs> to Mars we go. Well, it's been another episode of the CP podcast, man. It got a little weird today, but I like that. Next week, I want to have something ironclad scary. Like I want like ghosts. Illuminati. We never talk about the Illuminati. We never talk about selling souls and the Baphomet and um, the Grove and all that shit. You know, the owls. Bohemian Grove. Yeah. Yeah. We don't talk about any. any, I want to talk about some shit that's going to make the hair on the back of your ears. You know, I want to make a bitch mustache stand up. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) So, yeah, and then bottom of the ocean, um, you know what I'm saying, fat bitches with little legs, all the scariest stuff that we could talk about. I want to talk about that. All right, y'all. Always the questions, never the answers, man. We'll see y'all next week. This has been another episode of the CP Podcast. Shout out to my Patreon. Shout out to uh, Miss Zuriel, D-Law, uh, Tori Holland, uh, Raven Omega, James Russell, and uh, I think that's it. Maya Osborne, that's you. That's that's me. Yeah, I know, but still. Isaac Gentry, peace, everybody.